Okay, so what I'm going to be doing here is cutting the vertical pieces to start out first. I don't, I don't show the entire millet process for this, but I do show the millet process for the shelves, which is the same steps. So these long pieces are going to be 95 and 3 quarters inches long. So I'm just squaring them up. So um, these shelves is going to be two sets of three. So it's going to be six all together, uh, three together for one set, and then three together for the other set. Uh, the one set is going to be 121 inches long. Uh, by 95 and three quarters inches high and about nine to ten inches deep on uh, the shelves. The other set is going to be about 115 inches long by 95 and three quarters inches high and about 30 or about 10 inches wide. Um, but the shelves are going to be 35 from the smaller one and the, the larger uh, set, they're going to be about 37 and a half inches long. So I'll mill up that, that will be next step. So these are gonna be combined uh, sets of three and also look like two major bookshelves because uh, they're gonna be st staggered on the wall because there's, there's, there's a bump out and you'll see it later. So the materials is gonna be white oak and it's, it's character white oak. So it has some knots and some checks and things. So there's a lot of mill up for this and um, the client wanted that to match the rest of his furniture, which, which is white and red oak. So that's going to be the wood we're using, and we're going to. This is a lot of mill up, um, and also the client didn't want uh, dados for the shelves. So which I normally do, even though that would have been a lot of work for this. So we just uh, we're going to be using screw and glue, screws and glue, and because uh, that's what he wants to be streamlined and not to really stand out. So here we start the mill up process of the shelves. So, so these are the same exact stuff. So these are vertical piece, pieces. So we'll just cut the length and we're going to joint and then run it through the planer. And then we'll cut the final width uh, after we get everything kind of planed up and level. So here I'm just cutting everything with the final width. Uh, for the shelves and I'm going to just start building. So I start at the top first, make sure I get everything nice and square and then I'll pre countersink drill um, approximately five to six holes of each one and then I'm going to use uh, two inch uh, trim head screws. Also we're using glue, uh, I'm not always showing that but we're using glue also to hold these together and I'll make sure they're nice and also we're, we're clamping so the, so the glue definitely holds everything. Um, so we let it sit for a little bit. So we're not always showing every step here, but you can also see here I'm using spacers. So I'm going to work uh, from top down here and just squaring everything up, making sure everything's nice and straight, and just trying to keep the basics possible and streamlined as possible because that's kind of what the client wanted. He didn't want a whole lot of uh, he didn't want any brackets or any dados being shown, um, you know, any cleats underneath it or anything like that. So kind of wants a real bare bone. So you can see here, I just took everything outside. Just made it a little easier, a little more room, uh, especially seeing these things up. So like I said, we're working from top down. So actually now top up. So we're, so the, the rack is upside down. So we're gonna just work our way up using spacers and clamps and glue and screws. So just keeping everything nice and level, nice and straight. And you know, even though I look like I'm moving fast, I'm really taking my time. This, this was a lot of work. because These are big shelves. So you can see here I'm screwing in everything with screws, but these will not be exposed. So what I'm going to be doing um, is these are going to be joined together on the outside shelves that will be exposed. I'm going to put a second piece of plywood, I'm sorry, a second piece of oak up 
over over those holes so it also gives a little more thickness and then we're going to trim put trim pieces up over that to hide any seams and also to hide any um of the cleats and anything like that so it's going to look like one continuous shelf so everything's going to be lined up uh, perfectly hopefully at the end here As you can see, I'm working outside here, and you know, there's a couple reasons for that. One, I have more room, also it's hot, but it's nice, and you know, I like to try to work outside as much as possible, um, you know, to get the fresh air. Okay, so now um, I'm just finishing up this set of shelves here. So the first three are built, and I'm laying them down to lay out how they look, and we're gonna uh, start cut some trim pieces off, and some cleats right back, and do a lot of sanding. So here I'm just uh, putting back cleats on every other shelf. So it's going to be uh, the bottom, the second, or the third, and then the fifth one. So we're just going to be putting a cleat on the back of each shelf, uh, every other one. And we're also going to be putting bottom pieces on, um, especially on the two outside uh, sets of shelves. And we're going to be putting a 45 degree angle uh, cleats, as you see here. We're going to put the back on, and then we're going to just Brad now some cleats up underneath to give them a little stability. So, and that's all this is for. And the cleats in the back of the shelves are going to be for um, screwing to the wall and those studs. So, here's the bottom piece of the cleats, and there, there they are. So, that just gives a little more stability, uh, putting them on the floor, and that's how it's going to look. We're just going to brad now these in.
space in the first set are done and we are installing these in the house. If you look here at the wall, you see it has a bump out so right here. So first set is in, so now we're here putting the second set in and we're just putting the trim up and we're gonna screw each shelf into each other like cabinets, the cabinet screws. Uh, he wanted brass screws and also we're gonna grab now uh, little pieces of trim up over to each seam. So it's almost like a quasi face frame, but not over the, the uh, shelf pieces, just over the vertical wall pieces where there's two pieces, uh, shelves connected to each other. So there's no seam and cover with any imperfections and everything like that. So here, here we are, we're just screwing right into each shelf and we're putting the trim up and getting this set up. This is pretty much done now, this project. Yeah, it came out nice.